So I've received a few comments from subscribers asking about setting up the NASA uh, fail safe, kind of a forced fail safe using the gear switch. So if you've seen a previous video of mine using the three-way switch to control flight modes, uh, this will be an extension of that. I will post a link to that original video in the description uh, just so you can kind of get an over, overview of setting that up. The three mode switch and in this uh, video we'll talk through using this gear switch for uh, setting up fail safe mode. Okay before I dive into the gear switch fail safe mode setup I just want to show you my uh, control mode switch. So position one is attitude mode. I always take off in attitude mode and then position two is manual mode and then position three is GPS mode. So we have attitude, manual, and GPS. So what we'll do next is we'll actually configure the gear switch uh, when that's toggled on to, uh, to fall into one of our uh, fail safe areas and make that area blue. So I have a NASA profile that I'll go into. And what we'll do is in our auxiliary channel, uh, by default, if you haven't configured anything, your channel 5 should be null. So uh, if you've seen the three mode switch setup or are familiar with it, we actually have channel 6 from our Turnigy uh, receiver going into the U port on the NASA. And for the uh, gear switch, we're going to assign that to channel 5. So we'll go ahead and do that and hit menu. Now keep in mind there's actually no, with my Turnigy receiver, there is no servo lead going out of channel 5. This is just solely a software uh, configuration that we're doing in the transmitter. Okay, next we're going to go down to our program uh, mixing. So it's actually the last menu option uh, under settings. And we're going to go to program mixing number one. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do the drill down one level. Now, I actually have a lot of this pre-configured. I was doing some testing over the weekend, but the state will most likely default to inactive. So we'll make it active. We'll set the master setting to, to gear. That, that's our two-way switch that we're configuring. And the slave is going to actually be the um, pitch, you know, the pitch curve that we have for the uh, control modes, which that is is what's configured for uh, channel 6 going out of the receiver into the U port on the NASA. So offset will leave alone and your up rate uh, may vary. Mine's set at 35, down rate 0 and then switch. Uh, I have this set for uh, switch mode normal. So that's the default position of the 3 mode switch. Right now I'm just setting this up under the normal switch position but that can be done under normal ID1 and ID2. Okay, so normal. I'm going to go ahead and save that and exit. So now what should happen is when I toggle the gear switch right here, we should see our control mode switch setting and the NASA assistant go from attitude mode to fail safe. We're in attitude mo mode and I'm just going to show my little gear switch uh, that we just configured and if I switch to the on position you'll see that it goes to fail safe. Now once again that's for the normal switch position uh, on the three mode switch. So if I go to let's say the first position or if I go to the second position which is manual mode and I switch to fail safe you'll see that nothing happens. To overcome the issue where our switch, our three mode switch might be in position, you know, we had it configured for position normal, now we're in position one, and when we flipped that gear switch earlier, nothing happened. So what we'll do is we'll actually go back into our program uh, mix settings. So let me go ahead and get back in there. And we'll go to mix two. And we'll actually, you'll see that that's assigned to ID1, which is uh, the second switch position. You know, in my case, I have that set to manual. I'll activate it. 
set the ma master as the gear, and the slave as uh, pitch. Okay, and then you'll need to, you know, use a rate that works for you. But in my case, I've found this to be around around 40. Hit menu to save. And get out of there. Okay, so let's take a look at that setting. I'm back at the normal switch position for my three three mode switch or three way switch. I'm gonna go to switch position one or ID one. It's actually for me switch position two. It's a little confusing, I know, but uh, just the second switch position. And now when I switch the gear switch, how many times can I say switch? We're now in fail safe mode. So, and if you notice, I'll toggle back to my normal switch position, but you notice how the gear switches on, so it goes to that fail safe. If I toggle out of it, I'll be back to attitude mode, toggle to one, in manual, and then two in GPS. Now I didn't do the gear for the GPS mode, I'll leave that up to you, but you'll know that you go to pro your program mix and then set up mix three and you should be good to go. So that was just a quick how to um, get your gear switch to help augment your, your three mode switch and set you into a forced fail safe mode. If you have any questions about the configuration, please let me know and thanks for watching.